So today I'm going to talk to you about Isaac and how his food bank started. It's a really lovely story. You can see um, Isaac on the picture here, um, 11 years old at this point, but the food bank started when he was nine. Um, the food bank started as just a tiny little pop-up greenhouse. I'm just trying to see how I can get this to, um, oh, there we go. We've got the greenhouse, there we go. So there's Isaac, just broke his arm, unfortunately. Um, he'd moved out of mainstream school and into specialist education because he has a rare chromosome disorder that causes problems with his learning and his speech and mildly his mobility. So he is quite a resilient young man, but he couldn't take his donation to school. He said, don't worry, mummy, we'll just give everybody free food at our house. And so he did. Um, so this is a little pop-up greenhouse he started with. And very quickly, it got shared on social media and we were inundated with donations. And that was the point that I went out and bought him a little shed to keep on our driveway and keep everything dry. And he was donated a storage box to help him store a few extra bits and pieces in. As you can see, he was literally unable to manage all the donations that were flooding in. And that storage box collapsed shortly before Easter 2021. Um, also that Easter, he won his first award. We have had a massive amount of support from Morrisons in Redditch and their community champion Beverly nominated Isaac for a Little Sunshine Award for all the hard work he put into the community. And he was very pleased to receive that, as you can see. So the money was donated by the Freemasons to have a second shed on the driveway. And you can see here, Isaac loves celebrating any holiday. Um, when the point this picture was taken, it was Halloween. Um, and he was seeing about 30 visitors a week at that point. And it was great to have for him that extra space to be able to store all his food bank donations. And he could potter about in there, tidying them away and putting away. Um, at Christmas, November 2021, he celebrated his first year of running the food bank, which was amazing. We had a little party on the drive. Santa came and told him what a great, awesome boy he was, and he was definitely on the good list. A few friends and neighbours came to say well done and congratulations. And he also started his first toy appeal to give toys to children that didn't have any uh, that Christmas. Exactly one year ago today, because I saw it on my Facebook memories, Isaac received another award, and this time it was an Act of Kindness Award from our MP, Rachel McLean for all his hard work. And you can see in that picture, just tucked into a t-shirt, is his little puppy, Cookie, who does feature in quite a few of his Facebook posts with his love of animals. 2022 also brought the war in the Ukraine and that brought Samuel into our life. When Isaac was on the way to school and he heard about the war, he was instantly desperate to help. And he put a plea out for food, blankets, warm jumpers, any type of warm clothing. And after a few days, I mean, sort of sat on YouTube, he was watching Elon Musk talking about Swift Network. And he said to me, mummy, if they've got no power, let's send them solar power phone chargers. Then they could all get onto Elon Musk's Swift Network. So here he is on the right with Samuel from Oakland International, who was part of the um, team loading the lorries to go out to Ukraine and Isaac giving him the first solar power charger that he received. And actually Samuel remained quite a special person in our life, and I'll come on to that shortly. Then move on to the Jubilee, and Isaac had a stall um, as part of our community celebrations. We had our first visit from his mascot, Sparkles the Unicorn, also known as Simon, also known as my better half. Um, and he's pictured there with Angelica, our craft lady, who makes all sorts of awesome gifts for people to buy. Beautiful candles, plaques, things like that. She's a very, very talented lady. And on the right there, he is with our newly appointed mayor, Anne, who's always been a really big supporter of Isaac and in her capacity of mayor has been able to do a lot for him. And poor Isaac was very, very sad when we lost our queen in September. 
August 2022, I had a bit of a mystery phone call. Um, somebody had nominated Isaac for a surprise. And this guy called Mark rang me up and said, would it be possible for me to come and visit you uh, with a film crew? This was our first experience of a film crew. And he turned up with a few of his colleagues, his team, his family. Um, we had a little bit of a chat about the food bank. And then round the corner came this van that he donated into the project. He'd fueled it up for us. He taxed it. He'd insured it for the year. And he's currently looking after it in the garage as we speak because I've managed to break the clutch. Um, but hopefully that'll be repaired really soon. All I can say is I normally drive an automatic and it was interesting learning to drive a manual all over again. Uh, but yeah, great shout out to Mark. If anybody likes their cars, do have a look at his YouTube channel because he does some great stuff with cars. Um, also in our story, and I insisted that this picture goes in, is his barber, Ben. Ben is a massive supporter, does all these funky haircuts that Isaac gets, and he supports our local community by giving free haircuts to children whose families wouldn't actually be able to afford it otherwise in our community uh, when they return to school. So, yeah, absolutely lovely man and so very kind to Isaac. Um, October 2022, so that was Isaac's birthday, and all he wanted for his birthday was a van full of donations because he just had this brand new shed that you can see, um, six by 10 placed on my driveway to hold all his food bank donations. Because quite frankly, he'd outgrown those two small sheds that he did have. Um, he got loads of media coverage. He went on to Good Morning Britain, ITV News. On the right there, he is with Brad from Channel 5 News. And it was just a fabulous experience. And he really loved being in the limelight. Um, he did do a little bit of filming before Christmas, but I can't share that with you yet because um, I'm sworn to secrecy uh, for a certain reality TV show. But hopefully, beginning of March, I can let you know about that one. Um, late October 2022, Isaac was nominated um, and won the award for Young Person of the Year uh, for the Redditch Business Awards which was just a phenomenal achievement. And I'm going to show you a short clip now. The audio isn't great, but you'll be able to see just how crazy the crowd went when he got up on that stage. as you can see there he even insisted that Ben the barber was coming on stage with him um, and also a lady in the rather funky black and white outfit shell who supports us by giving us food each week that they don't sell so that we can supply it free within the community. In November Isaac took a week off school and had the experience of running his very own stall in the Kingfish Centre um, he is there on the left with our local councillor, Emma Marshall. She actually opened that great big shed for him, did a little opening ceremony and everything. Um, so she is a great friend to Isaac. The whole team came. We had Angelique's beautiful crafts. He did a raffle with a TV. He was donated a hot tub, fully fitted carpet, and he raised just over £3,000 in that week, which was just an incredible achievement. Um, and it was incredible to see how his confidence grew um, dealing with members of the public over that week. That brings us to this Christmas when Isaac opened his second site. And you may remember Samuel from the Ukraine who is there. Um, first picture on the left, but to the right hand side. Um, so after uh, Isaac did his bit with the Ukraine, Samuel's mum, Sally, 
who is on the left next to Isaac, stayed in touch with us because she was so impressed with the project. And when she heard that we were opening that second shed, she kindly offered to fund all the costs involved with us getting up and running with that, which was amazing. So we opened Isaac's second site with the mayor cutting the ribbon and we named it Samuel's Place to say thank you. And we were beautifully entertained by Santa Sax there on the right playing some of Isaac's favourite songs. He's got a real affinity for the saxophone, so it's fantastic to have that gentleman with us. So all I want to say now is thank you for having us here and thank you for supporting us. And I'm going to leave you with one last video before I take any questions. There we go. Thank you for listening. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing, Claire. Oh, what, a, what an amazing little man. And, and, and you too, Claire, um, because he can't be doing it on his own. So um, brilliant. Thank you both. Has anybody got any questions um, that they would like to ask Claire? Are you able to come off the screen, Jess, so I can see? Oh, yeah. Hang on. How do I do that? Thank you. Um, Marv, how does you do that? <laughs> how do I do that, Marv? Uh, at the top, you know, the screen, it should say, at the top, it should say stop screen share. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. Anybody got any questions? Stella? So how supportive is Isaac's school with him having time off to go and run the stalls and things they are amazingly supportive because he's in specialist education and won't sit any formal exams they see that life skills and actually building up his own business as he is is a very very important part of his future so we're very very lucky that he's got supportive school behind him thank you that's good has anybody else got anything they'd like to ask so what we'll do oh laura how can we best help you guys? I think by just spreading the word, sharing the page. And if you know, quite often, particularly in the run up to Christmas, businesses want to make donations to a charity or maybe they're looking for a charity to support. You know, it's about recommending Isaac um, and spreading the news about the wonderful work that he does. Excellent. All on that. And actually, just watching that um, made me think there's, there's, there's so much in my cupboard. Like, well, how many tins have you got that just sit there? That, that, oh, it's, I'll, I'll eat that one day and it's just going to just sit there, doesn't it? So I'm going to have a rummage through my tins. It's what I'm going to do this weekend <laughs> and see what I can pull together. Um, thank, you. thank you so much, Claire. That was brilliant. It was great to understand a little bit more about how it all started as well. So um, that's excellent. So thank you.